What's up, everybody? How's it going? So it's no secret that the tech industry has been going through a rough time lately. Whether you want to call it a recession, or the beginning of a recession, or perhaps just a correction, which is kind of BS, it's pretty clear. The tech industry is not having fun. We've seen lots of companies go through layoffs, lots of startups fail to raise money, lots of startups shutting down altogether. And the unfortunate reality is that this rough time, which seemed to only affect startups or smaller companies up until a couple of months ago, is now pretty clearly affecting most, if not all, of the tech industry, including the almighty fang companies. That's right, we've seen Facebook, Netflix have their stock values just completely plummet over the last couple of months. All the other fang companies, Google, Amazon, Apple, their stock values have also gone down, not as dramatically, but still quite a bit. A lot of changes are happening at these fang companies. You've got Facebook pausing hiring altogether for most lower level software engineers. They're increasing their expectations for existing software engineers. In other words, basically telling them, you can't slack off anymore. You have to work much harder. Otherwise, you're basically gonna self lay yourself off. And Google, from what I've heard, is also kind of doing the same thing, where they're increasing expectations, basically not allowing you to coast as much as before. Even the almighty Amazon, which really seemed like it was always, you know, permanently growing, permanently hiring, from what I've heard, has actually started to pause some of its more experimental hiring practices, which means that it's being affected as well. And so it begs the question, are these fang companies that have been so coveted, so sought after by software engineers over the last decade, are these fang companies still worth it today? Should you, a software engineer, still use my company Algo Expert to prepare for your technical interviews at these fan companies and use the promo code CLEM, C -L -E -M, for a discount on the platform? That's what I want to answer in this video. And my answer, which by the way, is a little bit biased in the sense that I am an optimist at heart. I always try to see the positive in situations. I very rarely have a macro bearish sentiment, at least not in the long run of things. So my answer is quite simply yes, they are still very much worth it. And I wanna give you three reasons that I think are gonna be pretty hard to argue against. So the first reason is that ironically, given how much the stock prices of these fan companies have gone down, right now is a great time to get hired at a fan company. And the reason is that when you get hired at a fang company, usually your total compensation has a large component that is equity-based. In other words, you're getting stock in the company. And so you actually want that underlying stock to be as far down as possible because you will therefore get more stocks for your equity award. If you're awarded $100,000 worth of stock, well, you want that stock to be lower because if it's lower, you have to get more of it to be worth 100,000. So that means that you have a lot of room for your equity award to appreciate as the stock recovers. And so ironically, the companies that are doing the worst right now, Facebook, Netflix, are the ones that have the highest potential like rebound and therefore like financial gain. Now, I realize that it's unclear whether some of these fan companies like Netflix especially, whether they're going to actually struggle in the long run with their business model. I realize that you know, Netflix is facing fierce competition. There's a lot of things at play. But the point is that if you believe in these fan companies, especially ones like Google, Amazon, that are a bit harder to see crumble over the next few years, then getting in right now is equivalent to buying the dip. And of course, you might tell me, well, Clement, the stocks might go even further down if we're just entering a recession. Well, ultimately, if we're getting hired as a software engineer at Fang, our goal is not to time the bottom. The point is, right now is a better time to get hired there than a few months ago. And that is reason number one that Fang is still very much worth it. Now, reason number two is that, as I implied at the beginning of my video, the entire tech industry 
right now is going through a rough time. Not just Fang. And in fact, Fang seemed like he was a little bit immune up until very recently. So Fang are the, the most recent companies to start to be affected, but the rest of the tech industry is also affected, and it's affected in much worse ways. Case in point, we haven't heard of a single Fang company actually laying off employees. Whereas you look at most companies around Fang, they are unfortunately going through really bad layoffs. Even pretty big companies like Snap, Snapchat, just recently, I think like today or yesterday, laid off 20% of its entire employees, including some software engineers in one of its divisions, Zenly, which apparently is like a super popular app. I had never heard of it, but like that's incredible. Incredible in unfortunately like a bad way. Whereas Fang right now is pretty immune to that. And it's probably going to be immune to that for the foreseeable future, largely because fan companies are more resilient. They're much bigger, they've got much more cash. It's very hard to imagine a company like Apple, for example, having to do layoffs, or Amazon having to do layoffs. So that's a good reason to want to go to Fang, is that you still have a very safe job. Fang is still paying very much top of market. Even if they might have adjusted their salaries a little bit, although last I heard they've actually been increasing their compensation packages, at least I heard that of uh, Microsoft, which is kind of in thing at this point. But so you're still getting very safe jobs that pay very well, that still have top of market benefits. You're gonna have better perks and benefits, even if they've been a little bit reduced at Facebook than you are at you know some random smaller company or random smaller startup. It's just the nature of the game. These fan companies have more resources, and therefore these things just haven't really changed much. Comparatively speaking, when you compare Fang to all the other companies out there, you're still getting most, if not all, of the things of the advantages that you were getting from Fang before now. And speaking of things not having changed for Fang, this brings me to my third and final reason, which is that Putting aside financial incentives like compensation and perks and benefits and safety against being laid off, a lot of the other perhaps less quantifiable reasons to want to work at Fang, like the ability to work on you know, super large scale systems and awesome code bases with super talented engineers and being able to get that resume stamp, being able to get a bit of that prestige of working at Fang, having passed the notoriously difficult technical interviews, well, these things also haven't changed. If you go work at Facebook or at Google or at Amazon, you're still gonna be working in the same code bases as before the recession. You're still gonna be working on the same projects with the same super talented engineers. The name Google or Amazon is still gonna bear the same sort of weight or prestige or resume stamp, whatever you wanna call it, that it did before. That also hasn't changed. And so for all these reasons, Fang is still worth it. If you're someone right now who's got a really bearish sentiment, is starting to feel scared about the tech industry and Fang specifically, don't be. Fang is still worth it, and you're still gonna have to pass those notoriously difficult technical interviews, but I've got you covered with AlgoExpert, AlgoExpert.io, promo code CLEM, CLEM, for a discount on the platform. On that note, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think about this in the comments below. Do you agree with me? Do you feel like Fang has lost a bit of its luster? Is that because of the recession or because of other things? Let me know. Don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter if you enjoy short form written content. Instagram if you like pictures, and I will see you in the next video.